Nights and Christmas is Friday now. That's typically the busiest day of the year for movie theaters nationwide, but many are closed again and struggling to rebound due to the pandemic. News 5's Mayo Davison, she's live outside Kimball's Peak 3 Theater, downtown Colorado Springs. They haven't had it easy once this year, Mayo. Yes, Elizabeth, the owner here tells me this is usually their busiest season and after a slow summer and yet another sh shutdown, they're hoping to find relief with Congress's new stimulus package. We've got nothing to sell here, you know, we're not pumping popcorn out the front door and Pepsi. I mean, we're shut down, shut down. Kimball Bales has owned Kimball's Peak 3 Theater, the only independent theater in Colorado Springs for decades. With the pandemic, it's been tough to keep the doors open. I've only got my manager here on payroll and, you know, turn the heat down, turn the utilities way down and just kind of, you know, sit it out. November and December consider some of their busiest times of year. It's sad. It's brutal. I mean, this is when we make most of our money and, uh, you know, always a ton of good films out. Great independent, you know, blockbusters. I mean, there's a lot to choose from. But even if they were open, Hollywood either delaying blockbuster releases or releasing movies online. So Bales tried to adapt and started streaming movies on their website and even planned to expand. We're opening up a bigger platform in the new year where we're going to have like more films, 100, 150 films, and it'll be easier for people to stream directly to their TV. Bales also hoping funds from the new stimulus package will help. The government setting aside 15 billion in stimulus funding for entertainment venues. I got an email from U.S. Bank saying how it's going to break out. Uh, money for rent and maintenance. Bales says he would use the funds to pay rent, utilities and bring employees back to work. As we head into the new year, Bales hopes restrictions will be lifted and things will go back to normal with the vaccine. In the meantime, the community can show support by either donating or their virtual cinema. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Mayo Davison, News 5. Mayo, thank